Gaming products are usually fancy with many colours and flashy LEDs, but sometimes too much of something just doesn't look classy. So what is the best way to keep a product classy yet have a gaming vibe? And I can't deny, my heart is always with you, my head's always stuck in time. Love, let me go, cause I've been holding up for far too long, I've been fighting and keeping strong, now you just gotta let me go. Time, wash away, every feeling that can cause me pain, all these memories I can't escape, can you let them all wash away? Let it all wash away cause I don't wanna feel the pain Love just let me go cause Today we're taking a look at Tozo's approach to making their new gaming earbuds classy but have a touch of gaming essence built into them So will they be any good? Welcome to a review of the Tozo G1 so the Tozo G1 today was sent over to me uh, by Tozo for review and although these were sent over to me, uh, there is no money exchanging hands and this review is based on my opinion and experience with these earbuds. So the G1 retails for roughly around 25 US dollars and that's about 100 Malaysia Ringgit. So depending on the discounts that they are currently running, you can actually get them pretty cheap. So if you're interested in buying these earbuds, do check out my links in the description below. So the G1 is a very nicely designed earbuds and I honestly like it very very much. Tozo use green accent LEDs as the gaming team here and honestly they are very subtle. Uh, if you don't like flashy looking earbuds then this is the one to consider. So the green LEDs really remind me a lot of Razer's uh, products uh, but Tozo uses it tastefully and not too overwhelming. So the case itself is made of a very high quality plastic I must say with a slight glossy finish. So you can see it's like a blurry type of gloss black which is really nice and it gives you a very worn out case and a very nice characteristics to it overall just like how a nice leather wallet should look like the patina effect so at the top of the case you're gonna get the tozo branding there the logo here doesn't light up but if it does come with the same green led that would look very cool and the front of the case you're gonna get this nice triangular design shape which will be light up by the green led uh, when you open up the case which is really nice so below the case, you're going to get a Type-C charging port to quickly top up the battery of the case. And once you plug it in, the LED will also pulse uh, at the front to indicate that it's charging. So the lid here opens up very nice and firm. And when you reach the top, a nice clutch is going to hold the earbuds in place so that it, the lid will not slam shut. So that's very nicely built. And everything here is just built very well and all the plastic feels solid and you don't get any wobble around with the case. Everything is firm and nice. So the earbuds here are also super cool with the green LEDs running uh, alongside the entire stem and you also get the triangular logo at the touch sensor surface with the logo branding at the side. So overall it's just a super cool design in my opinion and the nice part about this LED is that it will go away once it's connected to your phone so it still remains subtle when you want it to. So no one really would know that you're using a specially built gaming earbud. So apart from that cool design, you're getting an AirPods Pro style ear tips and that sits pretty comfortably in your ears but there's really no true innovation here in 2022 so I guess it's don't fix what is not broken right? And there are no in-ear sensors here for auto playing and pausing. So battery life here is decent with 6 hours of playback time and about 24 additional hours with the case if you use it at a conservative volume of about 50% but that's a good thing because these earbuds are pretty loud a comfortable level for me is about 50-60% to 60 uh, anything above that is really quite loud for me and I never hover above 70% most of the time and charging the earbuds up would take roughly around 2 hours so features of the G1 isn't really state of the art and it comes with a Bluetooth 5.0 with AAC and SBC support. Maybe low latency doesn't really always require the latest and greatest chipset but let's see how it performs during the gaming test. The G1 also doesn't come with any official water resistant rating however Tozo does say that these are waterproof. From what I can see there aren't many crevices that water can sip through so they should be okay with sweat and light water splashes. And Tozo does give you super seamless experience when it comes with using the earbuds single-sided so you can take either side of the earbuds out and use them independently. Finally, there is no multi-point connectivity 
on these earbuds. So the G1 comes with a very neutral sound signature, very well balanced but not thumpy. If you are looking for a bass heavy earbuds, then these earbuds may not be the one for you. So they give you a pretty natural sounding bass which is less emphasized to give you a better advantage when picking up mid or to higher pitch sounds, especially with gaming footsteps and so on. Hence, I do believe that this is why the bass is tuned a little bit lower here. So mid is very present and similar to my theory of gaming emphasis, vocals sound very forward and nice, meaning that you will get very good clear vocals when listening to music as well. And they do sound poppy and very lively. So highs here are a little bit recessed, not to the point that it's muffled, but I do hope they could sound a little bit more brighter. It's not a big complaint, but these earbuds do sound like the main emphasis is on the middle frequencies mostly for gaming purposes. So this is a test to see if the Tozo G1 is a good earbud for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from this earbud. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So latency performance here is absolutely on point and Tozo rates this at about 45 milliseconds of latency and I think it's pretty accurate although running only on a 5.0 chipset, it still delivers very good latency with games like PUBG and you almost don't detect any lag in real time. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. Gaming mode on. So the controls here are very complete, but the single tap is a bit sensitive at times, so many times I do accidentally tap on them. So to play and pause media, pick up phone calls, tap once on either side of the earbuds and it will play or pause your media. And to increase the volume, tap and hold on the right earbuds and it will slowly increase your volume. And tap and hold on the left earbuds to decrease the volume. To skip tracks forward, tap twice on the right earbuds and tap twice on the left earbuds to skip backwards. To enter or exit gaming mode, tap 3 times on the right earbuds and it will enter or exit gaming mode. And finally, tap 3 times on the left earbuds to call out your assistant. So it will pause your media and call out your assistant. So I think this is one of the better execution on controls I've tested on earbuds. And I think these control schemes can very well be replicated across brands to give people greater control experience. So I think Tozo created something pretty special here. Yes, the spec feels like it's 2020 and it's not the most exciting earbuds on paper, but holding it in your hands, that green LED design, and the latency performance that works as advertised really is something quite special, making these earbuds a worthwhile unit to check out. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere, and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.